I was in Miles' band for two years, right when he came out of retirement. And I, I stayed in his band for a couple of years. And we were really an extension of the stuff that he had been doing with M. Tume. It was still that kind of concept. And then I told Miles I wanted to leave because I wanted to get more into composition and producing. And, and, uh, and he was always real cool with me. He, he was proud that I was, wasn't just playing bass, but I was kind of involved in the business part of music. You know, I got my, my publishing and all that stuff together. He really was uh, encouraging with that. Anyway, a couple years later, I heard that Miles moved from Sony, Columbia to Warner Brothers. And I called up and said, hey, you guys need any tunes? Because I've been writing. And they said, yeah, you know, uh, send us what you got. And I wrote this song, Tutu. And, um, you know, now this is the 80s. And we've had Stevie Wonder, who played all the, all, all the instruments on his own album. You know, he would just play the drums. He'd rewind the tape and play the bass and rewind the tape and play the keyboards. He'd just build it up on his own. And then Prince had been doing that a few years later, and I was really into that, you know. And so that's how I did Tutu. I, I did the drum part, and then rewound the tape and overdubbed the bass, and I played the bass guitar. I just built the thing up <laughs> like this for the demo, and I played it for, for Tommy Lapuma, who was Miles' producer at the time. He said, this is great. We want to record this. I said, okay, well, where's the band? He said, no, we're not going to use the band. We're going we're gonna to do it exactly like you did your demo. And I was a little nervous because Miles is a true jazz musician, and that's not really a jazz concert with the overdubbing and all that, you know? And I was like a little uncomfortable saying, man, I don't know. He said, well, you know, you'll do it and then Miles will decide. Let Miles decide, but you start. So that's what I did. I got all my instruments to the studio here in LA at Capitol, and I started recording it the same way I did it at home with overdubbing the instruments. And um, after a couple of days, Miles came in. He said, oh yeah, that sounds good, keep going. And call me when you need trumpet. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. And so uh, a day later I called him and he came and I wrote the music out for him. And I had a little soprano sax so I could play in the melodies to show him how, how it goes. And we're just sitting there, just the two of us with headphones on, listening to this track that I've kind of built up. And uh, I just let him play. And I'm, I was really intimidated about telling him what to do. So he stopped in the military. He said, look, man, you wrote this. You know what it's supposed to be. You got to tell me exactly what you need. This is your stuff. So, you know, I started pointing after about half an hour, I got a little bit more comfortable because the music was so important to me. After a while, you got to give up being nervous because you got to make the music right, you know? So I said, stop, play, you know? And I started di directing him. And um, that's how it happened, man. And uh, the song sounded really so good because it's, you know, I, I tried to add a little bit of that. First of the cool harmonies, I tried to add a little bit. I wanted Miles' whole history and in, a, in the 80s setting. That's what I was trying to do, you know? I want you to hear with the instrument. So I had trombone in there from, from, uh, and for that soft brass, you know, like a trombone playing lightly. I had um, some of Gil's uh, harmonies. I had those fourths I was telling you about. And a New Orleans beat that Miles had showed us when I was in the band. I just tried to combine everything I knew about him in one track. And um, we named it Tutu because there was that South African uh, struggle going on. And Desmond Tutu was doing some really important work. And he was, a, he was an Ang Anglican, um, Bishop, like my grandfather, you know what I mean? So I really felt connected to him, so I named it Tutu, and uh, that really gave it extra weight that we, um, that it was just wasn't a tune, but it, it was connected to so you, you that struggle. That. Yeah. And Miles got so into it, man, that he, you know, his next album, he named a South African name as well, you know, because he, he really got into it. <laughs> 